And coming up next will be the call out that second stage locks loading is complete. The booster you see on your screen is flying for the 13th time today. Lock load complete. And there's that call out that second stage locks loading is complete. Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And as I mentioned earlier, the uh, booster on your screen is flying for its 13th time today, having pre previously supported two NASA crew missions, CRS-23, Series XM-8, XB, two transporter missions, Global Star FM-15, Aero C-3, and three Starlink missions. Falcon 9 is the startup. There's that call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. LD is go for launch. And as you just heard, the launch director has given the final go to proceed for launch. So let's sit back and watch as Falcon 9 takes our 46 Starlink satellites into space. T minus 30 seconds. Seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine full power. And lift off with like Starlink 3.5. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. Chamber pressure is At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Launch Complex 4 East at 6.40 a.m. Pacific Time. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And there's that call out that Falcon 9 is supersonic. Next up will be a call out for Max Q. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is when the vehicle is experiencing the greatest amount of external stresses at, as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. Now we're, we're about one minute away from a series of events, MECO, Stage Step, SES-1, and Fairing Separation. MECO, or Main Engine Cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1B engines on the first stage shut down. That's followed by Stage Separation, when the first and second stages separate from one another. That is then followed by SES-1, or Second Engine Start 1, where we light the Merlin Vacuum Engine on the second stage. And finally, we will have fairing separation when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So keep an eye out for all of these events, which are going to happen in pretty rapid succession. Nico, stage separation confirmed. And back in mission. And there were those callouts for Miko, stage step, and SES one. We should have fairing separation here shortly. Fairing separation confirmed. And there's that callout for fairing separation. 
we will be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel, NRC Quest, today. Both of the fairing halves flying on today's mission are the other flying for its seventh time. Now on the left side of your screen is the Falcon 9 first stage and on the right side is the second stage. The Falcon 9 first stage will be making its way back down to Earth and the right uh, side, the second stage, will be carrying our Starlink satellites into orbit. Now, currently, the first stage is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. If successful, this will mark our 187th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. On the right side of your screen, attached to the second stage, you can clearly see that MVAC engine. Uh, it'll be continuing its burn for the next several minutes uh, to get our Starlink satellites into orbit. As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 225th mission overall and 26th mission just this year. We've got some phenomenal views of our Falcon 9 first stage on the left side of your screen and the second stage on the right. The first stage has reached its apogee and is now on its way back towards Earth, while the second stage uh, continues to speed up as it goes around the Earth. As a reminder, starting Both is vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. And coming up in the next 20 seconds or so, we should see that entry burn startup on the first stage, which will be on the left side of your screen. Stage one FTS has saved. The first stage used to launch our 46 Starlink satellites into space today is flying for its 13th time today, having supported two NASA crew missions, CRS-23, Series XM-8, XP, two transporter missions, Global Star FM-15, Aero C-3, and three Starlink missions. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. And while we didn't hear the call out, we did have a successful entry burn on stage the one transonic. first stage. And there's that call out that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Up next is going to be the stage, stage two one. FTS is saved. Is going to be the stage one landing burn, which we'll see on the left side of your screen there.
Stage one, landing burn. Stage two, terminal guidance. And there's confirmation that that stage one landing burn has started in preparation for our land for landing on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you in the Pacific. Stage one landing leg deploy. And there you saw on your screen, Falcon 9 has successfully landed on stage our drone one ship. Stage one landing confirmed. On our drone ship, of course, I still love you in the Pacific Ocean. This marks our 187th overall landing of an orbital class rocket. Started loss of signal, Vandenberg. Including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Impact shutdown. And if you heard those callouts, we also had successful Seco 1. And we're currently awaiting nominal, nominal orbital. orbit insertion. And there's that callout for nominal orbital insertion. So with confirmation of landing and good orbit from our second stage, that wraps up our coverage for today's Starlink launch. So be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. And if you're looking for some extra entertainment later this afternoon, be sure to tune in for Falcon Heavy's launch of the Viasat 3 Americas mission set for a 7.29 p.m. Eastern Time launch from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.